everybody, Shoebox Legends here. And in case it wasn't obvious by the title of the video or that intro, we are going to do a red hot episode here on the channel today. Uh, everything sort of converged recently where I had an opportunity to go see the Red Hot Chili Peppers in concert. And at the same time, coincidentally have been picking up some red or red hot cards as of late. So wanted to get into that topic and talk about a parallel from Tops that I am a big fan of. And we're gonna start with this card, which I've already shown to kind of introduce the parallel. And these are the red parallels from the flagship Tops release, sometimes referred to as red foil, uh, because it is like a foil or ice finish on these. Definitely comes across a little bit differently on camera than it does in person. Uh, looks great either way though. They started making these parallels for the flagship top set in the 2021 release. So this is the first year that they did these, this Juan Soto, uh, but they've continued since. Uh, so in 2023, they are present as well, marking the third consecutive year that they've done these. Uh, the parallels run the entire flagship and update set for tops. And each year they are serial numbered to 199 on the reverse. Now, I love this concept of a flagship parallel. I'm a parallel junkie. Um, I think they're a great way to collect modern cards, but add a little bit of an element of scarcity or rarity to your collecting because it's really easy and cheap and not much of a challenge to pick up, you know, modern base cards. So I'm a big fan of the parallel and I love this red because it is the lowest numbered of the three colored foil or ice parallels that they've introduced uh, over the last three years in the flagship with the others being orange to $2.99 and green to $4.99. Um, I do have a couple of those as well, but I really tend to focus on the red. And I love in particular when the red matches the team on the card uh, and or, you know, the moment on the card. And that's certainly the case with that Juan Soto and all that great red of the Washington Nationals uniform. Uh, believe it or not, I have four other red or red hot foil parallels to share in today's video. And that's why I decided to shoot this, group these all together. Um, three of them I've gotten very recently. One I've had for a long time, but I've never shown on the channel. So let's start with the recent ones. Uh, this first one should not come as a surprise if you watched my channel uh, during the baseball offseason and leading up to the regular season and the World Baseball Classic was purchasing quite a few Shohei Otani cards. I found a seller and agreed on a price eventually for the 2022 Tops card number one on the checklist, Shohei Otani, that great batting image in the red foil. In this case, an SGC 9.5. Um, I don't really discriminate between my grading companies. I think this card looks great in the tuck slab. And I do like how SGC puts the serial numbering right on the front of the card. Uh, I can tell without even turning this over that I have copy 156 of 199. Look at that awesome Shohei card. Of course, um, I've talked about it on the channel before, but got card number one and the final card number 660 in the uh, checklist for 2022 tops after that MVP season in 2021. So just really glad to have this. I would love to track down card number 660, the pitching card, uh, in the same parallel, but I haven't managed to make that happen yet. Just kind of holding out, hoping I can find a good deal. Here's the back of that one, copy 156 of 199. So awesome show, hey there. Uh, that is one that I didn't manage to work into my other Otani videos and Otani pickup videos uh, that I've done over the last couple months. So it was perfect to include here. Uh, this next one, the second of four that we're going to look at is the most recent. Um, just got this in, was able to use my first quarter of 2023 eBay bucks. Uh, while not as easy to accumulate those as it used to be uh, back in the day when you would get them on every purchase, I do occasionally get an offer for, you know, 5% eBay bucks uh, that will coincide with a card purchase that I'm making. So I'd racked up about $40 or $50 in eBay bucks uh, in the first quarter was able to cover just about all of the purchase of this card with those funds. It is an awesome job by Tops 
of capturing a moment in time and a farewell for one of the greatest players in the game. It's the 2022 Tops Update Albert Pujols. Card number US 300, back with the St. Louis Cardinals to wrap up his career. Just an awesome shot here of Albert tipping the cap to the fans and a fitting, you know, final season card for a member of the 700 home run club and arguably the best 21st century baseball player to date. He's certainly right in the mix with, uh, on the offensive side of the ball anyway, with, you know, probably Miguel Cabrera, Mike Trout and others. Uh, love Pujols. I do not have him nearly represented enough in my collection or as much as he should be given his feats and the career that he put together. Um, so thought of trying to find this one when I got on this red foil kick, just because this is a perfect red card with that Cardinals logo. And of course, that being the team that he broke into the league with and experienced the most success with uh, before his later tenures with Anaheim and LA. Um, so I, I just adore this card. I would not mind finding a couple more versions of this. Uh, but as of right now, this is the only one that I've picked up, but super happy with it. If you look on the back here, got copy 98 of 199. So sneaky good card in my opinion and proud to be one of the 200 or so owners of that one. Looks great with that Shohei, both on the 2022 design. And so these are the new iteration. These three are the new iteration of this parallel. Uh, beginning in 2021, as I said, and uh, used in this year's set in 2023. However, um, those of you that have been around a while will probably remember that Topps had a red hot foil parallel in their flagship set back in 2014 as well. Now, this was a little bit different. Um, the foil technology, as we're going to see, is clearly different. And these weren't serial numbered, um, so it's not exactly apples to apples, but it was a parallel in the Topps flagship release, just like these that you see in front of you. And it did have a red foil element and name. Um, as I said, these were actually referred to, as you'll see on the flip, as red hot foil parallels. So I have two from the set. Um, I don't wanna go crazy with these and try to collect a million of them, but I did wanna get a couple of significant players. So this first one I just picked up um, prior to the start of this baseball season. Uh, another player alongside Otani that I really focused on uh, between the conclusion of last season and the beginning of this one, the 2014 Tops Red Hot Foil Mike Trout. And you can see, I mean, just awesome effect on this card. And as you can see, definitely different from the red foil that we get now, you know, in the 2020s. Not the same effect at all. Uh, lack of serial numbering on the 2014 cards, but uh, both of these just look gorgeous. Um, just absolutely stunning. They, they were both able to be pulled from packs. Uh, they're pack-pulled parallels, which I know is important to a lot of people. Um, so just really, really cool. This this does not have the lineage, you know, of a Topps Gold or a Topps Black or anything like that. Um, I understand that. I'm not claiming they're anywhere near as popular uh, in the marketplace, but I think they are sneaky, awesome cards. And especially, as I said earlier, uh, all four of these, you know, definitely fit the bill here. But when you get this effect on a card where there is red in the uniform or the photo, it's it's just fantastic. So there is the Red Hot Foil Mike Trout, one of my uh, off-season trout pickups. And then we'll conclude with what is the biggest card out of the small bunch that I have for today's video. Also from 2014, probably the biggest rookie that existed in that set. Really proud to have this one. The Mookie Betts rookie card from Topps Update in the Red Hot Foil Parallel. Just like the Mike Trout that we saw from the base set. What a card. I mean, this is awesome. I have Mookie's base rookie card. Um, as well, just being a Red Sox fan and collector, you know, at the time when he broke into the league, I was fortunate enough to get quite a bit of Mookie stuff when he was a little bit cheaper than he is now. But this red hot foil blows that base card out of the water. I, I even like this better than the Topps Gold version. Again, I know this particular parallel here was a one and done. Um, they did these in 2014. 
for the flagship set, as you saw with the Trout, and the update set, as you see with Betts. And that was it. They never did this red hot foil parallel again, and they never did a red base parallel, base or flagship parallel, uh, between 2014 and 2021 when they, they launched these uh, red foil or red ices. So, yeah, super cool bets card there. Really, really grateful to have this. It's one of the highlights of my uh, Mookie Betts collection, which is fairly extensive, just having been a, a team collector at the time. But that might be my overall favorite rookie card of the man. And uh, just a fitting end to this episode, paying tribute to uh, a parallel style that I've really been digging as of late. So that's a wrap for today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for this red hot episode. Would love to hear from you in the comments below as far as your opinion on these parallels and what you think of them, especially the modern run uh, from 2021 onwards that they're still doing in the uh, red, orange, and green. Uh, wondering if you have any of those or if you enjoy those parallels yourself. So thank you for watching. Uh, really excited to show these off. And I will certainly be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Till then, take care and enjoy the hobby, everyone. Live from my